guys, I lost my head. Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel. Today, we are checking out the new headless guitar from Volgoa Guitars. These are selling for $199 on Amazon. And yeah, I'm seriously impressed. And this is Volgoa, not to be confused with Van Goa, which is, uh, that's the company that I did the review of the pink Strat guitar a couple of weeks ago. So, different guitar, different company. All right, guys, I'm gonna go over all the specs, show you pictures, tell you all about the guitar and why I think it's so amazing. But before we do that, I want you guys to hear me shred on this. As usual, I wrote and recorded an all new shred-tastic jam using this guitar just for this video. Check it out. guys so what did you think of the jam I just want to say something here guys you know sometimes people leave comments there's something to the effect of like well you know if you're a good player you can make any guitar sound good or you can play great on any guitar and that is true to a degree but it does make a difference if the guitar is hard to play if the action is too high if the frets are too small a lot of things can contribute to making the guitar like you know not very fun to play, a little bit harder to play, and you're not gonna be able to shred quite as good as you can on a nicer guitar. I was able to play really well on this guitar. All right, so let's talk about this bad boy. It's got a mahogany body, a quilted maple top, a maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. Now here's the cool part. The cool part for me, because it's like, this guitar is really 
designed the way I like a guitar to be designed. It's got 24 frets, two humbuckers, and a hardtail bridge. Love that. Pretty simple control layout, one volume, one tone, three-way toggle. The frets, I would say, are medium jumbo, and it's got a real bone nut. Now, the finish on this, it is absolutely stunning. I mean, look at it, seriously. Look at it. It is flawless. There is not a single finish flaw anywhere. Front, back, it looks great everywhere. This particular color, they call it the natural. Uh, to me, you know, it's kind of like an, an amber color. I, I really like it. When I looked at the different models they had and the different colors, this is the one that jumped out at me right away and I was like, yeah, that's the one I gotta have. But they do have some other colors available. After I got the guitar, did I have to do some like major setup and fix a whole bunch of things and just, you know, turn it into like an amazing shred guitar? No, it was already that way. I only did a couple of things. I adjusted the truss rod just to straighten the neck a tiny bit and when you tighten the neck or you, you turn it to the right, righty tighty is how they say it, it's straightening, it's making the neck more straight. And when you do that, it basically tightens the strings so it lowers the action a little bit, which is good. I like low action. And the next thing I did is I took the little Allen wrench and I just adjusted the saddles to lower the action a little bit more because, you know, shredder, I like low action. And it's really easy to do. It doesn't take any special skill. Like I said, I took the wrench, turned the truss rod, took the other little Allen wrench, lowered the saddles just a tiny bit, and then it was good to go. The fret work is good. I don't have any buzzing frets. I got the action low and still no buzzing frets. So yeah, it's good. Now the pickups, guys. The pickups sound pretty good. I'm not gonna say they sound amazing or fantastic, and I might wanna swap them out for maybe a little better sounding pickups, but that's not something like you would need to do immediately because, well, you heard them in the jam, right? They really didn't sound bad, so it's just kind of personal preference, so I would say the pickups are pretty good. Okay, so do I have any complaints about the guitar? One minor complaint, guys, and that would be the neck, the thickness of the neck. I would prefer if the neck was a little thinner. This one's just a little bit chunkier than what I would normally prefer. Now, it's not huge. It's not like big, giant baseball bat thick. No, not at all. And I can still play comfortably on it. I can still play fast. I can shred. But it would be a little better for me personally if the neck was a little thinner. And let's face it, guys. This is a shredder guitar. This is not, you know, hey, I'm going to go play some classic rock or some blues. I mean, you could. But let's be realistic. This guitar is designed for the modern shredder. Headless, 24 frets, two humbuckers, that's what it's for. So I think the guitar would benefit and people buying it would benefit from having a thinner neck profile. Now after I got this, guys, I went on Amazon to see like, well, what are the other headless models that are available? What, are they, what do they look like and how much do they cost? Some of you guys are gonna be familiar with the names Ert, Latitude, Groat, right? You can find all three of those brands on Amazon with headless guitars. But none of them are less than $200 like this one. In fact, not even close. The closest one in price is the Groat, and it's $100 more. It's $299. And guess what, guys? The Groat looks almost exactly like this. It's got the same exact body shape. Same design, two humbuckers, same bridge, layout, everything. And you wanna know why? Because Groat is made by the same guys. It's made in the same factory as the Valgoa. The only real difference I can see in the Groat and the Valgoa is that the Groat, they have different finishes, different colors, a little bit more fancy looking, and they have a matte finish instead of the high gloss. And I guess you just have to decide, like, is that something that you would pay $100 more for? Okay, so what about the headless guitars from Ert and Latitude? Well, those are over $300, right? And guess what? Oh yeah, they're ugly. This guitar is totally cool looking. I love the shape, I love the design. It's small, it's compact, and it just looks awesome. But when you look at the designs on the Ert and the Latitude, I'm just like, no, I, I don't even care if those were cheaper than this one. I wouldn't want them because I don't like those designs. Like I said, I just think they're plain ugly. Okay, but even if you don't think they're ugly and you like those designs and you're fine with that, they're still over $300 compared to this one for $199. And guess what? It's got the same bridge 
and I'm willing to bet that it's got basically the same electronics. I'm sure the pickups don't sound any better. I doubt that they play or feel or sound any better than this one. So why spend over $300 when you can get this one for $199? Just something to think about, guys. Also, it comes with this pretty nice padded gig bag. And look, look how big it is. It's not very big. So you know what this is great for? This is great for traveling, taking on the road. You're gonna go visit family, you're going out of town for the Christmas holidays. This is gonna fit in the car so much easier than a big old like hard shell case or full size guitar in a gig bag, whatever. It's got no headstock, obviously, and even this part of the body is much smaller. So yeah, great for traveling. All right guys, so bottom line, what am I gonna say about this guitar? Fantastic, excellent, love it. The only thing, and it was, it was a fairly minor thing, is just that I wish the neck was a little bit thinner. Not bad, but I think it could be a little bit thinner. So based on that, it's beautiful, it's amazing, it plays good, it sounds good. I'm gonna give this a 9.5 out of 10 with the bald shredder stamp of approval. And if you wanna check it out, I've got the link for it in the description. All right guys, be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think about this Volgoa headless guitar. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.